Brown has possibly the best backhand in the world. Oh, on. Belt one. So both players at the peak of fitness. Mark, 34 years of age. Alex, 33 years of age. And Duran has been past the quarterfinal stage into the semis before one. in the World Championships of Service. Ping Pong. So he's very, very much a threat to the number two seed. Ex semi finalist. And there's the backhand of Mark Duran straight away. You can see how he punches the ball. Reminds me a little bit of uh, the great Carl Preen of England in the way that he generates his backhand punch. The flash getting across to the, to the punchy backhand himself. So Alex showing his own backhand and the footwork as well. There's a strong backhand. But Mark Duran up to it and taking the point. Wow, the One, pace of the ball four. in this game so far. I mean, we had the, the skill and the touch of, of Chris Doran and Benjamin Sorensen in the last game. This game's completely different. Bang, 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 really fast, One, all about two, power and speed. Nervous. Yeah, Chris Doran has had to work through a couple of players that mix up slow balls and defense with their attacks. He's not going to have the difficulty in the semi-final. What he's going to have is a different Five, difficulty, two. which is the locomotive power of one of these two players. So, Joanna, are we pleased with that? Get a three-point lead at the start of the first game. Cut back to two. See if Fleming can even it further with his serve. Two serves each, best of five, up to 15 points. Bet serve. Sudden death if it goes to 14 all. <laughs> and two Four, chances five. at a double point ball. Battle of the Titans Four, on the forehand seven. diagonal. Alex showing a good backhand to get that going. And afterwards, both just challenging each other. Who's the best at forehand to forehand attack? Seven, on that occasion, four. Mark Duran. Yeah, showing he's not all backhand there, wasn't he? Fantastic play from the forehand side. And then in the next two points, produces two Eight, lovely backhand seven. winners. Wow, what a start from Duran. Showing he's not overawed, playing against the world number two. That's right, that's a beautiful backhand down the line. He gave it a little bit of extra angle, cut across the ball slightly, and the ball's just sliding away from Alex Fleming. Again, he does the same thing. Four, nine. Wow, so Fleming's going to have to fix this issue of the wide forehand. Does it again. Ten, and if Fleming starts four, to cover that ball, service. then Duran's got the backhand to backhand exchanges that he can then go with, with possibly the best backhand of anybody. So. It's a bit of thinking to do for Alex Fleming about how he's going to co cope with this. Changes the pace, Ten, does so successfully. Oh, oh. Fighting his way back. Ten, so he was outclassed service. for a few points there, both tactically and technically, the number two seed. Just feeling his way back into it. How can he change the game? So we won't have the same problem again in future. Six, eleven. Oh, come on! Again, the backhand of Fleming 11, showing him he's got a good seven, backhand as well. Service. Deliberately using it straight down oh, to on. Mark Duran's forehand. Well done, Alex. Good fight back. Oh. Second net, hit the top seven. of the net, just off the side of the table. So, 12-7 lead for Duran. A little bit warmer in here than it was yesterday. Seven, just playing 13, slightly differently service. in the flight of the ball. Gavin Rumgay was even saying, Tony, that the ball even sounds slightly different to what it, does, to what it did yesterday. Seven, the temperature and 14. humidity can change that. Very interesting. So, game point. That didn't take long. Oh, what a forehand down the line to complete the game set. To Duran. Brilliant from Mark Duran. Shell shot Alex Fleming. Look at that ball. Alex was nowhere near it. Duran's off. 
get some advice after the first game. All rubbish when they play doubles together. Come on! But, uh, Dennis, very good player in the own right. So let's see whether Alex just goes for the same thing again, but looks to just do it slightly better, or whether we see a change in approach. Two, love, service. Let's serve, they'll take that again. Ball just clipping the net on the way over, so when that happens Let's on service serve. like that, they just repeat. Uh, uh, see no, no. Duran's backhand Two, stroke production. One. Wonderful. Exertion from both players. Service. What a forehand this is. So far back and to get that power. I see the big thumbs up from Alex. He was certainly impressed. Yeah, one of the best shots of the championship so far. A forehand attack from away from the table Two, from Duran. Looks so positive and bouncy. Irrepressible at the moment, Mark Duran. Lucky, retrieved by Alex. Well done. Oh, a little bit careful Four, and then two, over hit by Mark. Service. Just the change of pace is so hard for the players to play accurately from. Slow ball. Just over generated it. You see, pulled his shoulder there. Got to get the technique just right. Oh, two backhand misses two. from Duran and Fleming. Just reminding him of that with his gasp mental battle as much as anything else if they could just draw the odd mistake on the other person's strength it will give them a great deal of confidence three five service so alex challenging duran mentally now what a great forehand flip and again the backhand misses three six yeah i just think alex has actually got a bit more depth and he's shot into that backhand and it's just made Mark miss a few uh, so a much better start in this second game from Alex edge ball Six, that ball just four, went long enough service. to just clip the edge on the far end this ball here immediately Alex pointed four. at it nothing he could do the ball went underneath his bat Six, and that backhand was quite five. nice down the line but like you were saying, Tony, that one didn't get the length, and that enabled Mark Duran to walk onto it with his forehand and attack the cross court. Oh, that's the best shot against the net cord that I've seen so far in this championship. Brilliant stuff from Alex. That's why they call him the Flash. Look at that recovery. Great stuff. Fleming on the defensive. No, Can't hold it. Six. Seven. Good work from Duran. Eight. Again, six, the forehand flip seven. from Alex Fleming. He's been practicing that hard. That and the backhand attack. Just strengthen his, strengthening his game gradually over the years. All the big shots. Eight, Duran pinning seven, Alex away from the table on the backhand. Great work. Eight. Slow ball from Duran, and then the big backhand misses. Seven, nine, Changing the pace. Service. Just the, in this second game, you can see that Fleming's had to shift to an increased level of alertness. Yeah, he looks much more focused and ready now. Again, Ten, just felt short eight, with that backhand, just service. dropped into the middle of the table. And Mark quick to pounce. Yeah, Alex's backhand is stronger, but he's got to get the length on it. 
The flash Eleven. there doing a great Eight. job of squeezing the forehand out of the middle. It's good aim from Mark Durant. Double point ball coming. Power play. First one of the match. Double point ball. <laughs> Fleming. Good solid stuff from Fleming. Eight, Takes two 13, points with that double point ball. Service. So a handy lead now in the second game. Eight, thirteen, service. Nine, thirteen. And this time, Duran gets his backhand down the line in. Very effective, very flat. Alex couldn't lift it. Let serve. Alex missing the 13, backhand flick. Ten, service. Flick typically an attacking stroke played to a short against a short serve. Forehand to forehand exchanges again. Oh, double handed backhand. The man who 13, loves Rafael Nadal 11. and turns into a double handed backhand. Have you ever seen anything like this? Down the line, perfect tennis shot. It's a game that Mark Duran plays very, very, very well. 11, 14, Wouldn't have expected it in the ping pong. Service. But what a sportsman. Despite that, Fleming has game point. Good backhand from Duran. Forced into defence. And Fleming 15, comes back 11, one game, game to Fleming. Wonderful play from both players. Will be who will be crowned tonight. The winner of this match will play the special one, England's Chris no. Doran. Love one. The other semi-final will be Andrew Bagley against Scotland's <laughs> Gavin Rumgo. No. One each service. So both players so fit, so bouncy. Mark 34 years of age, Alex 33 years of age, and you can just see the fitness and the coverage of the ground, the stroke production and the power. And these sandpaper bats, Tony, not much spin with them, and therefore they're having to do all the work from the body. Yeah, Service. that's good from Alex. I just feel when he when he goes to the back end of Duran, he has to gamble a bit. He has to hit it hard, make sure it's very deep. This Duran otherwise gets that fast flat backhand in and gets him out of position. Three, two. Brilliant work from Alex Fleming, diving all over the place. He's having to use a lot of inspiration Three, to beat Mark Duran. Service. Inspiration won't win that one though. Just. Very, very lucky ne net cord. Happens every so often. Three all, Duran serving. Sure. Three, four. Clever return from Alex. He had been doing quite a lot of flicks deep onto the table. That time just touched it short, made Duran stretch, puts it off the end. Oh, oh Alex determined four, to get his forehand in from the backhand service. side. And three times he was pinned down there. The third one, he was almost doing a limbo dance. Couldn't quite get the power on. Five, four. One, two centimetres off there. Oh. Difference between winning the point and losing it. Oh. Five, Interesting, each. Colin, how simple service. Fleming serve is. You see him just doing a very similar serve oh. all the time but just to a slightly different part of the table. He's more worried about the next ball. He's not trying to necessarily win the point with his serve. Just all about setting up the rally how he likes it. Brilliant stuff from Fleming. Saw how he got wide of the Five, forehand there. Six. And he got there soon enough to be able to hit the ball very, very hard. There he was. No one gets to the ball that quickly and therefore can take it that early as Alex Fleming. Let's serve. as well. It was always good. Now it's excellent. And then the forehands take over from both players.
Nothing in it. Six points all. Exactly as you say, Tony. Just a simple serve from Alex. Good defence on the oh! backhand from Alex. And then Duran outstretching seven. Fleming wide of the forehand. Well played, Duran. Some smart stuff there. Table tennis professional. Spanish champion. He's been playing this game Seven in various forms service. since the age of four, Mark Duran. So he really knows what he's doing. Good defence, just missed the side. So nothing in it. Duran has two double point balls to come. I think it's about time he used one, Tony. Yeah, leaving it very late. Great rally. Brilliant work, both Seven, players. Eight. Feet everywhere, generating the power, getting into position. Both players puffing heavily, but super fit. service so that was an edge ball umpire acknowledging that it did actually touch the table top even though it was at the edge and therefore 9-7 to Fleming uh, sorry, sorry. oh that's four Ten, apologies in about the last five points and a little run of luck for Alex uh, making the most sorry. of it just pulling Ten. away three point gap That's a fantastic return Eight, of serve. Ten, Mark Duran stepping service. across the forehand side to get his backhand in from the middle forehand and then be able to get his wrist onto that to flick it wide of Alex's forehand. Brilliant stuff. And that's the advantage of a backhand return of serve. More flexibility with the wrist to hold your intentions until the last minute. Oh, what a backhand! from Fleming and Mark Duran saw it ten. coming and hit it so wide across court. That was a great backhand, but look what Duran did with it. Nine. You won't see a better counter topspin than that from Duran. Again, go. Knew he's in trouble. Nine, Went for the big double-handed backhand. We've never seen this this happen before in this sport. Couldn't quite happen. Power. Well, so Duran hasn't taken either seven of his double point, point balls. Fleming, Fleming now taking his second one. Yeah, just showing how much Fleming wants this third end. Get that little advantage. <laughs> he wants it, and he wants it now. Thirteen. Nine. No waiting to save a double point ball for later. Treating pretty much everything as in for the kill. Brilliant stuff. So with a little bit of luck assisting him in the middle of this game, Fleming, well, Nine, now at game 14, points, it's given him a two service. games to one lead. Duran's not done much wrong. He's played some wonderful stuff, wonderful counter hits. Just hasn't quite gone, hasn't, hasn't quite gone Duran's way. Fleming. And Fleming with a six-point lead at 15-9, but that probably flatters him. Fourth game, he can't take both of them in one game. So, slow forehand oh. control from one. Mark on two occasions, and then the big biff. So smart play from Duran, powerful backhands, two controlled forehands, and then a big forehand. Good recovery from Duran, He's still in it. Making Fleming work for it. What a great shot down the line that was. Couldn't quite bring the ball down from the forehand. Service. This is great retrieving from Duran. Unlucky. <laughs> Should have chopped it, he says. Simple serve from Alex Fleming. Much as you were saying, Tony, Fleming's not looking to win the point directly from the serve in the same way that Matt Ware or Gavin Rungay would be. But he's looking to set himself up optimally for a good follow-up. Good Desmond Douglas style. Three, one, service. 
good start, which was needed by Duran at two games to one down. Just won a couple of great points there. One in particular, I thought Fleming was going to win. So a really good start to this ball game. Look at that counter touch thing from Duran. Won him the point in the end. He was really on the defensive, but there, bang, counter hit, and then a slow forehand was actually the one that won it. Let's serve. So really intelligent play, knowing when to take the energy out of the ball, get the missed time out of Alex Fleming. That time, Duran couldn't make the counter service. touch him with the forehand. Good, brave, hard work from Alex Fleming. Boy, the flash got around a long way to the backhand. His foot was almost in the barriers. But the second one, he was a little bit stuck. He knows he's under threat backhand to backhand from Durant. So he needs to get around and get his forehand in from the backhand side. Three. <laughs> Fleming sharp as a razor. He wasn't this sharp in the first, but since then he's really been playing very, very well. Six, three. So that one comes up short, and as a result, there. Duran hitting the ball pretty much Six, down onto the table rather than forward. Double point ball. So finally, time for Mark Duran to use his double point ball. Can he get two points from this one? Rally. Backhand down the line again. Didn't follow that well. But the backhand, backhand production followed up. Yeah, he's delighted with that. Three, eight, service. Eight, eight three leading now. So there, saw Fleming go round, played it down the line. Five point advantage. Fleming hasn't got any double point ball left. Duran can use one in the fifth if he wins. Backhand to backhand, Duran is asserting his dominance once again like he did in the first game. Dangerous territory now for Alex Fleming. Doesn't know how to match this backhand to backhand exchange. And he does it by playing backhand down the lines of Duran's forehand. Nine. Four. Yeah, encouragement Service. from Dennis. That's yeah. going to be the tactic, I think. Yeah, I think Dennis was in c got up to say yes, well done, because he changed it, didn't he? And he managed to get that switch, that switch in before Duran's big backhand. He's got to do it quite early in the rally. Four hand of four hands. Fleming Nine. coming back at him. Five. But missed it. Fleming's getting back into this. It's unlucky, wasn't it, from Duran, to be honest. Saw Fleming going, went down the line, just over hit it. from Fleming but you see the way Tony 11, that Duran six, played the back end counter to it there great stuff from Duran so he's managed to hold on or rebuild his lead 11-6 is this going to go to five games Fleming in trouble on the back end again has to run round makes it 11-7 Look at how good this forehand is to make Mark miss that. That must have been the last centimetre of the table. Yeah, he's having to live up to his branding. Alex the Flash Fleming. He's got to get around the backhand and play his forehand sometimes. Oh, that was great. Mark Duran just waited. 
waited for Fleming to commit to the backhand and then play the cross court. Fleming showing that he can hold the backhand to backhand. That'll be a great confidence booster. forehand flip following up the simple serve Nine. that's the kind of return Service. he's looking for I think Tony yeah, I mean, Mark had been doing a soft roll from the forehand side that time he elected for the little touch but Alex of course quick as a flash onto it Thirteen. just off the side Nine. rather than off the end Duran two points from taking this to a fifth and final game Edge ball, that will help him. Nine, fourteen, service. Fleming, number two seed. <coughs> Durant's playing as well as ever. Fleming Ten, smacking it from 14. one side to the other. Mark Duran's well, his tennis footwork is standing in very good stead here. How he got to these, some of these, I don't know. But in the end, Fleming clawing, work, clawing his way back. Again, Fleming winning, 14, winning backhand to 11, backhand. Service. Very encouraging for Fleming for if this goes to a fifth set. Oh, Again, reaching over the table for the forehand flick, Fleming. Duran recovering well on the backhand. Oh, oh, both players just 15, mixing up 11, backhand and forehand attacks so beautifully there. Two games all. It's gone to the fifth. Mark Duran takes the fourth game against the flash, Alex Fleming. Well, that last point. Now. is not quite powerful enough compared to Mark Duran and that's the, that's the difficulty for Fleming well, Fleming really really needs when he does play to Mark Duran's backhand he gets the ball very very long Again, the more powerful backhand of Mark Duran, um, but Fleming winning two. so far, 2-1. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Every time Alex dropped short in that last game, Duran put immense power into it. So, yeah, length absolutely key here for Alex. This time Three, keeps it very short. One. Service. Yeah, Alex needs a little bit of the Chris Doran roll with the top spin just to take the pace out but get the length with it to mix up the game a little. Alex trying to demonstrate his backhand is strong enough to hold the Duran backhand. Mark's specialism. Alex would be a little bit disappointed with that. So easy to go off the end when the ball's short, because of course you're not far from the end of the end of the table. Over stretching slightly Service. there, Alex. Blinking a little bit, maybe a bit of perspiration in the eye, but at three points all, they're allowed to towel down every six points. So Spain v Germany. <coughs> Two Englishmen in the semi finals and one Scotsman. Oh, great rally, just battering the forehand attacks. Four, three. Well played, you're out. Short return from Alex and a short court ball. Four, ah, eight, smart. Picked up a little cheapy there with a change of tactics. Took the pace out. Yeah, clever play. It's so difficult to do, especially off a, a ball with no pace on, to keep it low as well. 
and then Alex Five, going back four, to running around the backhand side to get the forehand in and mixing it up. There he goes around. 5 4 to Fleming, first of 15. Semi final place against Chris Doran is the, for the victor. Duran was just standing at the end under that onslaught in that rally. For Duran, one minute, please, for six, seven. Is that a timeout? Yeah, it is a good time to call it. Alex really let loose on that forehand, didn't he? Put everything into it. Great roar afterwards. And Duran doesn't want him to keep up that momentum going. So good time to call a timeout, I feel. Yeah, so under the threat of the Duran fast back end, Alex has held up really, really well. Great stuff from the flash. <laughs> and he is coming on. 6-4 in the final game. They'll change ends shortly. When uh, one person gets to seven. Got to get back on, continue from here first. So, Mark Duran just choosing to be on his own now, whereas Alex is getting all of the verbal Hi, interchange please. between him and, and Coach Dennis. Yeah, very different body language, you say. But we sense that Alex <coughs> keen to get going, um, but very. It looked very contemplative, did uh, Duran. Duran to serve. Just Four, keeping himself calm six. during that timeout. Yeah, save the energy in between rallies and then explode into the rally after the serve. Here goes Duran. 4 6. Good backhand from both players. A little bit short from Alex, and that puts him in trouble again. Well, the defence onto the top of the net helped him get back into it. A little apology there from Alex. He was struggling there, but that got him back into the rally, that little net. So this is the change of ends. When one person reaches seven points in the final game, just to even up the time that they spend at each end of the table, roughly. In previous championships, they've swapped bats as well to make that absolutely even, but they've made the bats the same and they don't change them because of the coronavirus <laughs> protocols. Eight, four, seven. Oh, Fleming will be so pleased to have this lead because he'll have in the back of his mind that Duran still has a double point ball, so if he can keep that sort of four points ahead plus, then that's not such a threat to him knowing that that's coming. One double point opportunity for Duran to come when it's his turn to serve. Boy, you could see Eight, Alex really five. threw his bat at that forehand. Not just about holding on to it down the line. Hit the edge. Pretty well deserved, to be fair. Come on! Five, nine, Great bomber service. beforehand from Alex. A little bit short, step round, really close to the net. Duran being forced away. Duran doing well to get back into position from being Five, caught wide. Ten. Surely a double point ball, Duran, to save yourself. Power yeah, I feel with a bit of a disappointment. I think desperate to get to Double two point points ball. behind before he Duran. used it, so it pulled him right back. But still, oh. he'll only be three behind if he does this, so still a massive point. This one to put the pressure on Fleming. Oh, oh that's the best oh. counter top that I've seen. Eleven. I said the same about Duran earlier in this match. Service. That's an even better one. If Fleming had lost that one, it would have given Duran hope that the flash is staying in front. He's got himself a good lead. He's deserved that point. That saves him from losing two points and now serving at 11-5 in the fifth and final game. Struggling defensively on the backhand. Slow ball, slow balls from Duran. I'm surprised. Flashback into it. 
rushed up from Fleming. I think Mark Duran maybe should have kept going as hard as he could. Yeah, but Fleming's just completely in the zone now. Looks like he can do any, everything well. Um, look, looking more like he did this morning where he just looks so comfortable. His last part of this final game is really playing well. Yeah, players in the background enjoying this. Matt Ware. Let's serve. Matt, who went out at the very <laughs> final point to Gary Runga, who's still in the semi finals. Six, twelve, service. So Duran has not much room to spare now. And he's had to go back. Fleming's not going to let him get back to this, close to the table, I'm sure. Brilliant defence, couldn't quite keep 13, it up. Six, six, Two more points for Alex Fleming to finally get to overcome Mark Duran. Wonderful athlete, wonderful sportsman. Oh, great forehand of forehand action. 13, seven, service. Duran still battering away, won't go down lightly. Well, brings up the match points. Fleming played this stiff end fantastically well. Um, if he keeps this up the rest of the tournament, he'll be very hard to beat. Let's serve. I agree. He's held in there very strongly, shown that his backhand is nice and solid. Simple serve with great follow up. And he stayed so consistent in that fifth game under a battering from Mark Duran.